Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Hope you're doing well. So Capricorn, this reading will be for you if you have any Capricorn placements or if you're dealing with a Capricorn. Please take the messages that resonate and leave the rest. Today we'll be looking at your love and money, okay? So first and foremost, let's see what your angels would like you to know before we get into the tarot. So first message for Capricorn, 705. You are drawing down the energy of the stars at this time and being encouraged to set your sights higher than you have previously. Some of you guys, you're already, um, it's like you're making New Year's, not even resolutions, but you know, big goals that you have that you want to um, achieve. Okay, 309, your higher self is guiding you at this time. Dive deep within and be open to new directions. Okay, switching something up, are we? Six. 73 673 your spirit has created a wave of grace that is clearing and lighting up your path your journey it, your journey to manifest in miracles is unfolding perfectly okay okay capricorn that's your angel messages let's get into your tarot let's see what's going on with your love life right now be sure to check out the placement so right guys today i've done uh virgo libra scorpio sagittarius i'll be doing aquarius and pisces off aquarius pisces aries taurus and gemini today okay so definitely check your other placements um i did uh can was it cancer and leo i think two days ago i think two or three days ago so check those out too if, if, you, if you have any of those in your placements or your person, okay? All right, guys. Capricorn love, what could you tell me, please? What's currently going on for the collective of Capricorns, please? Four of Wands, Hanged Man, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, Four of Swords. Some of you guys could have put off... Uh, put a relationship on hold or some of you guys if you're um some of you guys could be engaged some of you guys are in talking stages or in a relationship but i feel like some of you guys it's kind of, this is giving me like like it's past the honeymoon stage and it feels like let's have more fun with it let's be more um let's be more um spontaneous okay let's not take it so serious okay but let's have fun. Tell me more. You could be dealing with a Leo. We've got Pisces there. We've got Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Scorpio, Cancer, Scorpio, Two Pentacles, Judgment, The Hermit. So maybe if you guys didn't like how something was happening in your relationship, okay, and this could have made you kind of pull back your energy or cross watcher. This is what you've been doing. You've been pulling back your energy. Um, some with I don't know. I don't know if this is some of you guys. This is new, and it's kind of like: Are you talking to any other people? You could be asking this person, or this person asking you: Are you speaking to anybody else? But so something could have got serious, but someone's kind of like: eh, Hold on. Or if you're in a relationship and it's and if you've been in a relationship for a while with this person, it's like let's have more fun. But overall, I'm getting this energy of let's be let's enjoy each other more. Let's not be so serious. That's the energy I'm getting. The King of Swords, and now that's a serious person. Somebody could have backed away because somebody could be very um. I don't, want, I don't even want to say cold. I want to say like not as affectionate or not as mushy or not as you know. Look, let's let's just say the King of Swords is fun. But the thing is, air signs they they do have um a good sense of humor and they can say things to um. It's kind of like. How can I put this? They might test you with certain things, okay? But in a jokey way. Sometimes, yes, in a serious way, but let's see. King of Pentacles. Someone's very deadly serious about a relationship, so I'm not sure if this has put you off, Capricorn, or if this put this person off. The Some of you guys, you do want it, but it's like, I, w I still want to date more. I still want to... not necessarily other people but like i still want to date you i want to, i still want to go out or, or i want to go out more the fool yeah the, the so okay all right capricorn i'm not sure if this is how the person's feeling towards you or vice versa you'll know who you are in this but i'm getting someone here needs to be more carefree more fun not as serious okay maybe um not always work late 
maybe not always take extra shifts and enjoy your relationship as well or enjoy this connection that you have with this person or cross watcher so remember you guys someone's taken on too much here and someone's waiting for someone else to change someone's got too much on their plate someone stays at home and someone goes someone's more of a homebody and the other person goes out and has fun could be a Virgo or or, or a water sign doesn't have to be Ace of Swords. So there's been a conversation about this. Some there's you're you're dating you as someone who's completely different to you, Capricorn. You're dating someone who's completely different to you. Maybe that's what attracted you initially initially, but I'm getting like it's starting to become something that you are not really into. So it's finding that balance between what makes you both happy. Okay, the, t the temperance. Some of you guys are Sagittarius, but I'm getting like, okay, there's this conversation about how things are going to be um, oper operated at home, like functioning or within this relationship here, how to move things forward. Someone could be working from home as well. Someone could be working from home. Somebody could also be um, their own boss. Maybe that's why they've got a lot on their plate, three of pentacles. Somebody works with a lot of people here. King of Pentacles, someone, so, okay, we've got the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, Pentacles. some of you guys, um, you and your person both work hard, both, um, you know, about that money right now, okay, so it could be a thing of like, let's, this is what it feels like, let, let's have fun, nine of, nine of Cups, but you both love work and you both love money, and this may be the downfall, guys, okay, um the relationship is suffering the romantic side of the relationship is suffering three of swords that may be the downfall someone okay um uh capricorn i feel like for a lot of you um oh it could be the, some of you let's say at least half of you yeah um one of you so you're both working hard okay one of you when you finish work you go home the other person meets up with their friends or or has a has a social life let's say like that yeah someone has a social life and the other person's a complete hermit six of pentacles tell me more please the moon someone keeps this to themselves and they're like don't really always complain this could be building up or if you've noticed your person's quiet maybe somebody likes their own alone time yeah someone just focuses on their work so there's a, there's a, someone's a serious workaholic here I feel like both of you work, but you're, when you finish work, someone's like, I just want to go home and another person's like, well, I want to go out. And so is that balance? OK, All right, I'm going to leave that there, guys. Let's look at your money. Well, I wouldn't be, I'd be very surprised. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see, because it's showing that you're both hard workers. And both busy. But you both do things differently in your personal life. OK. Somebody's an introvert and the other person's an extrovert, okay? Oh, oh, okay, I'm getting... Um, one of the issues, it could be a thing where the extrovert... I don't want to say the extrovert, but the one who goes out more spends more and is kind of, like, more carefree like that. It could be that person that's saying to the... Whoever this is, um, that's staying, staying in and, you know, um, like, let's do more. The King of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles... This come out twice. This has come, out, and I've literally just picked up from two different places. This has come out. The, this is the third time this has come out now. Uh, I believe it was for Libra and um, Libra and Virgo. I think. Check your other placements, though, guys. Money's looking good. I've fought hard for where I where I am, what I'm trying to achieve. This is what someone's saying or thinking. I'm working hard. I don't want to stay. I don't, where I've come from, I want to um, push past that. I don't want to be the same as everybody else or the people in my family. I want to do, I want to do more in my life. Five of Pentacles, you know, yes. And someone's saying, okay, but you can be, you can be poor, but, you know, um, we're well, still not poor, but, you know, you don't have to be rich. Like, I'll still love you regardless, but someone, what's someone saying? Yeah, but, you know, we'll be able to do more things with that, okay? <laughs> Five of Cups. Someone trying to convince somebody to do less. 
the magician yeah someone's trying to like convince them to do less um knight of swords this is a battle or it could be um what's the word why do i feel like some i don't want to say competition i feel like you're both high achievers both you and your perfect you and your person if you are um dealing with somebody right now or this could be a prediction check it in in um in a month or two but i could be predicting something the star yeah some of you got there we go five of swords and the star i've been I, i'll fight for my dreams i'll fight for what i want this could be irritating somebody as well and then someone here is stuck at eight of swords and the queen of pentacles somebody's very sensible and, and, and the other person is a bit more free they kind of somebody lives in the moment and somebody really thinks about like way in the future i feel like that's where you guys clash the empress someone saying i don't want to be um a, a stay-at-home mom who's broke i don't want to have nothing to give i don't want my children to be broke i don't want so you're both trying to do something queen of wands somebody might go and have surgery or some kind of procedure also as well like to enhance their uh, cosmetic surgery yeah especially if they're going into the uh they're starting new work or if they're in the limelight okay the devil temperance seven of swords someone saying no don't do that you don't need to do that i think you're gorgeous as you are you don't have to do that to change yourself okay so i'm not sure what kind of procedure that is but four of cups someone might be doing it to also um keep the attention of their partner as well okay or just to make themselves feel good make if you if that is you that's having cosmetic cosmetic surgery please make sure you're doing it for yourself and not for somebody else okay make sure that it's something that you you know if you are going to go ahead and do it make sure there's something for you not to um please anybody else okay all right i'm gonna leave it there guys please like share subscribe if you'd like a personal reading all the information is in the description have an amazing week and i'll see you guys in your next reading bye guys